So you're trying to group some objects in Blender. The thing is, it's not called a group anymore. It's called a collection, okay? Uh, it was called groups a long time ago, back in the olden days of Blender 2.79, but it's not anymore, it's okay? So if you're trying to group something in Blender, you're running east trying to see a sunset. You know, it, it'll just never happen. But it's super easy to create a collection. You know, you can select all of them and just hit the M key. Click move to new collection. We'll call this new collection Cubus. Hit OK. And then right here. So now up here, all of these cubes, they're still, each cube is still an individual object. And now it's in a new collection called Cubus. Okay, so this is a way to keep this tidy up here. It is a group, um, technically, but it's not. It's just they are grouped into a new collection. And if you say, hey, that's kind of confusing, you're right, it is. Hey, that's unnecessarily confusing, you're right, it is, especially for a beginner. You say, hey, that's not good enough, I want answers. Okay, well, shoot, let's go to Amsterdam and talk to the core developers of Blender at the Blender Institute. Um, groups are gone and uh, the collection system is more powerful uh, because it can now do everything that groups used to do. And so the reason we made this change is for animation pipelines where in the past you would have to set up your scene and then set up your group separately and those could get out of sync and it could get really confusing like which ones are visible, which ones aren't. And so we decided to unify them so there's just collections now. So I'm going to post a link to this blog post about collections and groups from the core developer team at the Blender Institute in Amsterdam. And just know that when you're trying to group something, you really want to make it a collection, okay? And you do that, again, hitting the M key, okay? So I hope that helped, and uh, get back out there, keep making what you're making.